Well, the recent studies confirmed what many of us already think. Australia's internet speed is slow, even worse than Kenya, Latvia, Romania and New Zealand. Despite the NBN rollout, Australia's ranked 51st in the world for net speed. So it may not be a surprise that fewer people are signing up for the NBN and complaints more than doubled last year. In Perth, we have the slowest online connections of any capital city in the country, six times slower than Canberra, with an average speed of just over seven megabits per second. Now, it's a huge bugbear for a lot of people across Perth, so let's start open to our Pulse guests. And joining me this afternoon, Matt Ditinski from Mix 94.5 and Channel 9's Lisa Fernandez. Welcome, guys. Hi, Hi Emmy. Emmy. Now, slow internet makes life pretty hard these days. It's difficult to run a business from home, hard to answer emails, and do lots of fun stuff like watch Netflix. Matt, let's start with you. Is it time we took this a bit more seriously? It's not just playing export box anymore. I don't know if you do that, but no, I think you need to online for it. No, I don't. I don't. <laughs> I still play an abacus. Okay. Um, I mean, Lisa wouldn't remember because she's in her 20s that uh, I, I grew up in a time when there was no internet and it loaded, you know, <laughs> horizontal bars. So we've certainly moved on. But, you know, it, it doesn't sound great. And our Prime Minister is talking about us living a sort of innovation nation life. We need to have internet that's comparable with the with the rest of the world. And I don't want to live in a country where my cute cat video has to pause to buffer. I don't <laughs> want that kind of life. Do you think we're not patient enough? Lise, what's the speed like where you la live? Uh, I just want to... I'm assuming from what Matt's just said then, because he's not as enraged as I am, that the internet where you live is OK. I live in Bayswater, uh, and that's worse than Romania. In fact, when it? I'm trying to get on the internet in Bayswater, I put on a Romanian accent because that's how I would be feeling. <laughs> this is not working. This is not good. I'm not, do you know... It is so slow. There are black spots. And anyone listening from around the Bayswater area is nodding their heads now saying it's, it is it is like living in a third world country mm. and I am enraged. I throw things. It's so hard to do work. It's ridiculous. But you get up at all hours, so surely the speed's it, better by then. I do get up. <laughs> I set my alarm at 3 o'clock in the morning Do just you? to get work done. Yes, because my internet's so slow, still slow at 3 in the morning. Wow. I, it, like, it, it is so bad. And the fact that we live in a first world country, and first world problems, I know, hashtag. Yes. But it's like, like it's actually true. It's Bayswater is the worst suburb in the metropolitan area for wow. slow internet. You've heard it first. I don't know. Yeah. We'll find out. Yeah. I think there might be a few complaints know. about I mean, that. Honestly, put it on Facebook. It'll go nuts on the nine news. Do you know I don't, I don't have internet at home. I know, that's why you, yeah. that, I know that because that's why you're not even worried about how quick or slow it is. And I could tell that when you were talking. I don't even know why we chose this topic for you yeah. then. <laughs> um, look, just speaking of getting up, it's often pretty hard to get up and get moving on a Monday yeah. morning. And now there's a scientific reason why. New research out of the U UK shows we have our worst night's sleep on a Sunday. Now, Lisa, you're a Monday person? Yeah, look, I, look, I'm a morning person. I did breakfast radio for 13 years. Mm. Uh, but I found my slow day was Tuesday. I, I was all right Sunday night, got up Monday perky. Maybe that's just because I hated my job. It might be a bad <laughs> thing. <laughs> but Monday night I struggled and Tuesday was always all right. But then again, you're getting up at what, what time? You know, 3.30 in the yeah, morning for yeah. Breaky Radio. Uh, but what, what's your slow day? No, Monday <laughs> is my slow day, definitely. I, I find that by the time I get into the week, I'm, mm. in, I'm in the zone. But then on the weekend, I stay up mm. sometimes later than 9pm. Wow. And oh, wow. it completely <laughs> throws me out of sync. Party guy. Well, I'm glad that we've got you in on a Monday for the Pulse then. Perfect. Yeah, I'm just make best. a really long Who day you? for you, Matt. <laughs> yeah, we just want to... We just really want to drag it right out. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> OK, guys, to finish it off, let's take a look at a Sydney wedding that didn't mm. quite go as planned. It ended out in an all-out brawl, and this is the aftermath. It apparently started as a guest was groping women at the party. Mm. Now, Matt, this makes eloping seem pretty good. Ever been to a really, I don't know, I guess a wedding that went wrong? Well, I've been to a few weddings that I knew weren't going to turn out so great in later years, but I did go to a wedding once where a, a vandal was seen 
breaking the aerial off the higher Rolls Royce, wow. and the bride chased him in the dress <laughs> and collared him. Mm. Good on her. Yeah. Are you sure that wasn't a Bruce Willis movie? Oh no, it was. Yeah. That's right. Sorry. Yeah. <laughs> now, at least, at least the bride and groom won't ever forget this day. Yeah. Look, I, mm. and, and neither will the guests. And I think that's really the whole point, isn't it? Because weddings can be a little bit boring. There's yeah. nothing like a good family punch on <laughs> to have everyone remember your wedding day. Okay. And I think that's you know that's that's part of family. Yeah. Families do that. I hope they took photos. Yeah, oh, correct. look at that. Oh, yeah. there's Uncle Barry. Yeah. I think it all probably just depends on when they all start drinking. Yes. Yeah, yeah. I think, you know, it's, it, 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 you should elope or just reconsider marriage altogether. Yeah, fair <laughs> enough. Okay, Matt, Lisa, I hope you both get a good night's sleep tonight. Thanks, yeah. Amy. Okay, thanks, <laughs> Amy. Thanks for that. Bye.